Patriots, welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Brian Osain. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Monday, October 4th, 2021. Let's relax a bit with Brain Break. Now let's go to Valencia for our Hispanic Heritage segment. Thank you, Bonnie. Selena Quintanilla Perez was an American singer-songwriter, spokesperson, businesswoman, model, actress, and fashion designer. Referred to as the queen of Tejano music, her contributions to music and fashion made her one of the most celebrated Mexican-American entertainers of the late 20th century. Although she is not here with us today, she has still made a huge impact on a lot Latin American history. Now let's go to Scott for today's sports highlights. Thanks Valencia, sports fans. Welcome back to Sports Equipment Origins. Today's edition is about the golf club. Early golf clubs from the 1500s were just sticks roughly made with a wooden head and were made by golfers. Most people continue to use wooden headed clubs even after iron clubs were made available because the ball would last longer if it was struck by wood. Designs and experiments continued over the years changing the golf ball and making it lighter and smaller. Materials also changed over the years from wood to fiberglass, graphite, and now titanium. Golfers no longer make their own clubs. Larger manufacturers with advanced technology allow them to create the best golf clubs for you and me. Now let's go to Sonia for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is galaxy cheese pizza, broccoli, diced pears, and gray cheese and milk. Students. Please let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Let's go back to Vani. Thank you, Sonia. Patriots, the fall festival is on October 30th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Tickets are now being sold. You can get candy, play games, and go into the haunted hallway. I hope to see you there. Let's help our school out and treat ourselves to some delicious treats by visiting Mini Donut World from October 1st to October 31st. A digital version or printed version of the school's flyer is required for Renaissance at Pines to receive credit. All sales go towards helping our school. Now let's see what the weather is gonna be like today with David. Thank you, Vani. Hey, Patriots. Today's weather is gonna be 87 degrees Fahrenheit and probably cloudy skies. It's gonna be a windy day, so if you like a little wind, enjoy the breeze. Now, in other weather news, Australia's scientists are making artificial clouds to help with climate change. In Australia, the oceans are warmer than ever. They've come up with a solution, artificial clouds. The idea is to spray with water droplets in the sky, creating small little clouds that will help create more cooling over the ocean. We think this is a really cool solution to this problem. Now, let's go to Angelie for today's birthdays. Thank you, David. Today's birthday boys and girls are Anthony Sonana, Emma Serenga, Caleb Abuzid, Ariana Daly, Stephen Point Duger, Emily Santana, and Nia Samore. Happy birthday! Now let's see what's trending with Hot Topic. 
Thank you, Angelie. Hey, Patriots. Welcome to Hot, Hot Topic. Topic. I'm Destiny. And I'm Chanel. And here's what's trending this week. TikTok is one of the most popular social media platforms of 2021. The app has over 1.5 billion downloads in App Store and Google Play. It's very engaging. Sheen is a popular shopping app for all ages. You can get a lot from Sheen, such as shoes, graphic tees, jackets, accessories, and so much more. I love their cardigans. The Mario movie will be released in December 2022. The movie will be starring Chris Pratt, Charlie Day, and Jack, Jack Black, and Seth Rogen. My favorite character is Luigi. The Krispy Kreme cinnamon roll has recently been released and is available in Krispy Kremes near you. There are two kinds of cinnamon rolls, the original cinnamon roll and the cinnamon toast crunch roll. I wonder how it tastes. Let's buy it and find out. That's it, Patriots. Now let's go back to Vani. Thank you, Destiny and Chanel. In honor of Hispanic Heritage, we sent some ambassadors around the school to do some surprise interviews. Here's what happened. Gilbert, who a lot of you may see around the place, but you're not quite sure what she does. She does everything. So we're going to ask her a couple questions about Hispanic Heritage Month and see what her views are on the <laughs> yes, they're simple. on the occasion. So first question, Miss Gilbert, um, what is your favorite Hispanic song? Do you know any Latina or Latino singers? Oh, she says no. Okay, what about, have you visited any Hispanic or Latino countries? I've been to Puerto Rico. You've been to Puerto Rico? Yeah. Could you tell us what your experience was like there? Like, did you immerse yourself in the culture? <laughs> <laughs> what was our experience like in Puerto Rico? Oh, goodness. It was amazing. I did, I brought my adopted Puerto Rican daughter with me and we explored everything. So you're able to see the people, the, the, the food, the food, everything. What was your favorite part of being there? Your favorite experience? Uh, I don't have a favorite. It was, it was all, all? Just, it was all amazing. All right. I'm sorry. So, <laughs> okay. Last question. I'm gonna get something out of you today. Okay. Then you're gonna erase this. <laughs> what about your favorite Hispanic or Latino food? Mm. We love to eat. I do love to eat. What, what is your favorite Latin I, American food? Cuban. Cuban food? Cuban food. Those sandwiches? Um, or what no. is that meat that, meat that they like? Ropa vieja? No, ropa vieja is okay. No. Yeah, that's not bad. So just everything Cuban. Yeah, I'd rather have ropa vieja. Everything, though. <laughs> Thank you so much Bye. for your time, Miss Gilbert. Wow. Let's see who's next. Thank you, Miss Cuadrado and Miss Kane. Scholars, here are your pet expectations. They represent... Present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for yesterday's trivia winners. Congrats to Miss Cavalita and Miss Carter. You had the correct answer to Friday's trivia question, which was, everything is made from what? The correct answer was elements and atoms. Teachers and scholars, here is today's trivia question. Where did jazz begin? Teachers, please send your answers to pines at renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for a response to be reviewed. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a marvelous Monday, and don't forget, this year we are all about fundamental and forward focus. Have a great day! Thank you.